What's going on everybody? Todd with Coastal Tides here and today I'm going to show you a video on how to rig for grouper at the Skyway. So let's jump on in it. So you need your hook. Five aughts are typically what I use the most. You need your leader and you're going to need a swivel. Uh, I don't remember what size this is but if you kind of compare it to my finger um, you'll be able to know around what size it is. Uh, you don't have to have this but you can have a little smaller. Just these bigger ones are really good and they hold a lot of pressure for sometimes when those grouper get into those rocks. Um, you, you know, applying pressure on a really tiny swivel could break it. So uh, usually a little bit beefier of a, of a swivel and it'll work just fine. And then you need a sinker. I think this right here is a, th is a, a three ounce sinker. Yep, it's a three ounce. And uh, when the currents are moving real fast, uh, you don't want to use anything less than a three ounce. The current will still move this. You could go to a four ounce, five ounce. This right here is usually the heaviest I'll go because I normally don't fish very much when the current is moving really fast so no more than a three ounce but i typically use a two ounce and you need a pair of pliers mainly because it has that little snipping tool on it now guys there's going to be different ways you can tie grouper rigs this is just the way that i do it so you take your main line and you take your singer so you just Put the line through the sinker, these little egg sinkers. These are probably the best ones to use out there because they, they slide very easy. So you take your main line, take your swivel, you're gonna go through one end of the swivel. And what I do is I hold just like this, and I basically tie kind of like a loop knot, but I double wrap it. So I go, I go once, I go once through the swivel here, and then I loop back around and I do it again. So I go twice twice just like this and I do about seven to eight wraps I'll do eight wraps so one two three four five six seven eight so there's eight wraps and then I usually take my teeth hold this in while I keep a finger in here because sometimes this will bunch up but I'll do it this way so you just kind of cinch that down It's kind of a pain to do it this way with braid, but it cinches. It might look ugly at the beginning, but it cinches down. Boom, just like that. That's the knot that I tie on the top. It's very strong. It's never slipped on me. Um, works great. Then you take your tag end and you just cut that. You can use your, your pliers if they have the little blade on there to cut it. I usually just do it with a knife because it's a lot easier. Now, normally when I'm fishing, I'm not gonna leave that much tag in. I'll cut it back a little bit more, but that's fine because the fish are never even gonna, probably gonna never see that anyway. And then you take your leader, whatever leader you prefer to use. I'm just using a 100 pound here because hopefully you guys can see it a lot better here in the video. So you take your leader and you go through the other, the other end of the swivel. And here I like to tie uni knots. You can use whatever knot that you prefer to use, but a uni knot is, for me the best way to do it and guys just remember the thicker the leader the less wraps you need to tie because it gets to be just a com complete cluster and it doesn't cinch down correctly so with this uni knot i do five to six wraps one two three four five that's i'm just going to go ahead and leave this at five it's always good to kind of wet this down just kind of wet it down with some saliva and you just kind of pull that tag in you can also pull this down uni knots with heavy leaders can be a little bit harder to manage but you just slide that down boom it's cinched so there's your uni knot right there onto the swivel just take your tag end and you just kind of snip your tag end off just like that so as you can see here you have your main line to your swivel to your leader. So this way when you cast out, the bait's not gonna stay just in kind of one spot. You can actually let some line out so that way you can get that bait a little further, but it still kind of sticks towards the bottom. Now for the length of the leader, normally I do about five feet, four to five feet typically. Um, you can go a little bit longer if you want or you can go a little bit shorter but I typically stay at about five feet. Now I'm not gonna pull this out to five feet in length. I'm gonna pull it out to, I don't know, probably just a little over, a little over a foot. Now I tie the same knot to my hook as I do to my swivel. 
I just tie a uni knot. One, two, two, three, four, and five. So we got five wraps. I'm gonna wet it down a little bit. Just grab a hold of it. And kind of, you don't want to tighten it real tight right there, but you just cinch it down just like that. And you just take your tag in. You can leave a little bit on your, by your hook. You can leave about that much tag on it if you want. Uh, that's not going to scare any fish away down there. And you can use this for literally almost anything you want to catch. It, you know, this is not like it's it's a, a special type of rig. Um, I just use this for grouper, just because to me it's the quickest to tie, and it works perfectly. Every single grouper that I've landed at the Skyway has been with this same exact rig. So until the next video, y'all stay cool, go fishing. We'll see you next time.